honestly i think there are some things especially like something that i've learned is just like being in like both in a black and a hispanic community a lot of times like you have you know cookouts where and like parties with family and things like that so in that aspect it was very you know true like and comparable like but then there were other aspects like even in hispanic culture as a whole like you know just because we're hispanic doesn't mean that we have the same cultural tendencies not even even the same like words are not this you know dialect is different like you know even within not every hispanic is the same person like you know a lot of people think that hispanics only eat rice and beans and that's not I'm like, look, I'm being honest, straight up. Look, this is the crazy thing about it. So, me, you see me, it's like, okay, you see a brother. But uh-huh. I love when I can go from, because I'm from down south as you are, um, South Florida. And, you uh-huh. know, I can drop the, hey, okay, what's up, cuz? This is what I'm talking about, blah, 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 and all that. But I have the Haitian background, right? So, it's not that right. I'm doing it to be disrespectful. So, even if they hear that element of what they may consider urban or hood, but then... When you drop a few big words on them, they whole disposition changes, right? And they're like, oh my God. It's like, yeah, it's like, and I <laughs> laugh because it's like it shows the 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 preconceptions we have and the prejudice we have internally when people are speaking, right? And so here I am chilling and, and I'm wearing this fit, and I'm like, oh, fit and all that, blah, blah. But then when they see me, uh, uh the same person another day, and I'm in a, and I'm in my suit right and uh-huh. they're like and they hear me and i'm and i have poise and i'm well spoken and i'm like okay you know what did you ascertain from this statement um that that you know what was your perception or you know what and they're like oh my god like oh it's like it's not even that deep it's the right. it's the fact that we have all these prejudices right and misconceptions that are causes to be biased and i think sometimes we see that in relationships because they're like how do they work? He's white, she's black, vice versa, right. or he's Hispanic and she's Indian, right. he's Muslim and she's white. And it's like, look, people love people when you show yourself lovable, right? right. If you make yourself presentable, you can have love. It's not about your background, right? Because we've seen where not only people come cross culturally, they come cross religion. And yeah, I think that's yeah. another thing we're downplaying. The religion, sometimes I feel that's even harder. Forget yeah. just, okay, I'm white dating somebody who's black. It's you're a Muslim dating a Christian, yet right. people figure ways to make that happen. Mm-hmm. And I think it's being open. So how do you feel about these scenarios? Like, have you ever encountered that where it's just beyond your race, where you're looking at not have to go across um, belief systems as well? Yeah, no, I, like... I've seen it with my own eyes, like personally with people that I know, I've dealt with it myself. And I personally think that that is a tad bit harder because like you, especially like dating someone who has a completely different religion than you. And you, I know people that it works out because they genuinely give each other the time of day to get to learn about their religion like about each other's religion and then sometimes i know that in my past it didn't work because someone like i know that i like i'm spiritual and i am religious and then the individual like you know the individual the guy that i was dating he was it and it was it sometimes it could be a little hard like to Ooh, I am on here on my own. Hi. Um, but overall, like it's just pretty, I think it's a it's a little difficult to I do think that that is that. like a difficult topic. And I think it just depends on the person that you're with in order to see if they were willing to, you know, learn about the culture, learn about the religion, and be able to just be open-minded as well as you in that relationship i think relationships a lot of the times are 50 50 but a lot of people can 
disagree with me on that but but this is the crazy thing we mentioned a few things right because this is how complex it can, can get right so you can date outside of your race uh-huh you can date outside of your uh religion right mm-hmm. but then let's think about the same thing let's say somebody is black right so and right. then they do have the same religion with you but then you can date outside of your culture right because mm-hmm. then that gives to the other aspect when you're saying if somebody's haitian mm-hmm. they're christian right and they're dating a, a black african-american woman mm-hmm. right the culture is different because of their background they're mm-hmm. both black so now it's not even a matter of race mm-hmm. right and then it's not even a matter of religion if they say you're christian i'm christian but then the cultural differences come in so yeah. how would you address that because that's a third element right you have race yeah. culture right and religion yeah i think like i i think people don't realize that how they're like different i guess i don't know what you would call it like the like phases or different um matters of like being in a relationship with one with someone like you can honestly have an open mind or you can be the type of person that no this is what i like i want to be with this person who is with this and you know has this type of religion and is this type of culture but then there are other people who are just so broad and that they would date anybody and i've seen it work and then i've seen times where it doesn't work and culturally i think there are some things especially like something that i've learned is just like being in like both in a black and a hispanic community a lot of times like you have you know cookouts where and like parties with family and things like that so in that aspect it was very you know true like and comparable like but then there were other aspects like even in hispanic culture as a whole like you know just because we're hispanic doesn't mean that we have the same cultural tendencies not even even the same like words are not this you know dialect is different like you know even within not every hispanic is the same person like you know a lot of people think that hispanics only eat rice and beans and that's not essentially true all the time like you know a lot of people think that we all are brown or tan and that is not essentially true like a lot of things are um uh there's all when it comes to culture there's a lot of subtopics that people don't really see all they see is the outside and what people look at and what people see and that's what they base their opinion on and it's tough though right because i think that's the problem like that when you think about american culture we're all inclusive right they call it a melting pot yeah but the, the, the one problem about a melting pot right when you think about goulash or whatever you may call it there's so many ingredients right and you made like 10 ingredients but it takes one ingredient for you to say i can't eat that right mm-hmm. you know how people like i love all of that but it's like i'm allergic to that one thing you put in there right and the whole thing goes bad and i think that's the problem we face right when we think about all of this here when it's like okay we get past the cultural differences we get past the race differences and then it's like dang i still have one more thing to tackle and Thanks for watching and good night, bitches.